hello from Sri Lanka. We're here in Colombo. Fantastic. Country number 114. I just can't wait to see Sri Lanka. I've been so excited about this place yeah. for so long. <gasps> Tea, elephants, <laughs> leopards, beautiful beaches, all that kind of stuff. Buddhist statues. Yeah. That's going to be wonderful. <laughs> and speaking of Buddhist statues, this is a very important thing one to right know. There. This one here, and it says, this is very important for the country. Please do not pose for photographs bring you back to the sacred Buddha statue. So there's all these little things that we're going to be learning over the next five weeks and we'll be showing you as well. Exactly. This video is about the next 24 hours, how to arrive in Sri Lanka, yes. what to do, where to go. We're going to head through immigration now and we'll see you on the other side. So the first thing you need when you come to a new country is a currency. Oh yes, hard cash. And we've been looking around a bit and there's a sign for an ATM and here they are. Now, we've been told, haven't we, that... The Bank of Ceylon, the BOC, is the best one. Or the People's Bank, that's right, Mandy. And yes. Apparently they're free, so we're going to get some money out now and see if that works. Yay, that worked. Here's the Wise Card. Got out some cash. Is our first Sri Lankan rupees, which is really cool. Uh, we didn't actually know how much to get, so we're just taking out like 15,000 now. And we're going to have a look to see how much a, a dialogue SIM card is. We took is. a little bit less out so we could get some uh, small change as well. We took 14,500 yes. so we get a 500. That's around about a dollar. We've got to get um, a taxi so yeah, taxi we might need that. Yeah, taxi and pay. Because yeah. also because if we put in 15,000 we may have just got three notes. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. 14,500. So that's great. Got some money. Yeah. Stage two. Next we need a SIM card so we can get some data to use in Sri Lanka. We've had some very good information, tips on which one to use. Dialogue is just over there, so we're going to go over, see if we can get ourselves a SIM card, see how much it will cost, and that will set us up. So Dialogue seems very popular. There isn't anyone at the other mobile phone providers, so... A couple of options. 50 gig of data for... Here yeah, we're going to go for this one. Oh, no. Otherwise, of course, 1,800. He's filling the card up for me. So, can they hotspot? Yeah, you can. Perfect. Always. Thank you. And does dialogue work everywhere in Sri Lanka? Yeah, guarantee. You Perfect. can ask any local person. We are the number one in Sri Lanka. <laughs> oh, that's it's all right. Everyone's here, and no one's at SLT Mobitel. <laughs> <laughs> You can ask any local person. Okay, perfect. Like. <laughs> Sounds like we've got the best one in town. Let's see. <laughs> and we're so pleased because we've just got our first Sri Lankan subscriber. Yay! <laughs> excellent. Yay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Told that. an excellent tip about cards because my phone can take two SIMs, but why is it important to take one out? The reason uh, if anyone select your the foreign SIM card in Sri Lanka, uh, he or she uh, get charged for the roaming, you know roaming charges are a bit expensive so better keep always only one sim card, it's much easier, it not be a, a mess That yeah, is so cool, that is brilliant frugal travel advice, advice. Really thank you, that's so cool And by the way, so if, you, cool. if you have any back or something, you can keep the old sim card like this between the phone Brilliant, it's oh, it so together you don't miss oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, and sorry, what is your name? I'm Gaisha Gaisha, lovely, Gersha. lovely to meet you So yeah, and what is your name? I'm Rashid so lovely to meet you. Thank you. Have nice a good day. Bye. Okay, so now it's taxi time. We've just met Noah, our friend from Holland. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're sitting beside here for the three and a half hour flight. And it was That's so lovely. Awesome. Yeah. So talk me through Pick Me. Mandy. Okay, so yeah. it turns out to so this Uber and there's also Pick Me. For some reason, Uber is really expensive now in Sri Lanka. I'm not too sure why. Well, for, in the Gombo anyway. Expensive is... Um, Relative? Good. Okay. But we're going for it. I don't know if you can see it. Yep. Pick Me. So I've got the new SIM card. Oh, they're picking us up in five minutes. So basically, uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, it turns out I've actually gone and done it a bit too fast. But anyway, yeah. we're getting a lift with someone. It's got his Mandy's put in number. our information and we're yeah. heading to yeah. Nagombo where we're staying tonight. Yeah. And this is the guy who's going to pick us up in tuk -tuk a number? tuk tuk. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's going to cost 642 rupees, yeah, right? Yeah, so which is brilliant. Incredibly cheap. Let's go and find our tuk tuk. This is what it's like outside the airport. It's quite hectic, all the taxis coming down. We're looking for our tuk-tuk. He hasn't turned up yet. Yay, we found our tuk-tuk. We're yeah. here. It was just outside the gates. I don't think yes. we can go into the gates. So if you get a tuk-tuk, come outside the gates and they'll pick you up. We are now on our way into the gombo. Love it. Love the mural on the roof as well. It's awesome. Oh my word, gorgeous. Wow, it's so cool. Nice intro to Sri Lanka. 
How was the journey, Mandy? It was really cool. This is our lovely driver. He drove very well, very safely. Thank you very much. What is your name? Lakshid. Lakshid? Lakshid. Yeah, so lovely. Thank you yes. so much. All the way to Nagombo. Yay. Fantastic. Great vehicle. Thank you, Lakshid. Bye. We've made it to our accommodation in Nagombo. It's midnight. Yeah, and we're tired now. So I think we're just going to go to bed and we'll like continue this tomorrow. This is our first full day in Sri Lanka. We're still in Nagombo. We're heading down to a supermarket because one of the things when you travel with carry on only, you know, you don't carry things like soap or toothpaste. We're going to go and buy some and get some breakfast. But one of the fascinating things about Nagombo is there are so many Catholic churches here. There's a very strong Dutch influence still from the Dutch. There are statues. And just over the road, St. Joseph's Church. Oh wow, it's beautiful. Now, we're not going to be spending much time in Gombo. We're just going to race out, get a few things, get something to eat. And then we're going to get the train into Colombo. And we'll tell you why shortly. Found a place for breakfast, we hope. They've got the salad chai for one fifty. Okay, first 24 hours in Sri Lanka. This is breakfast. So uh, we've come to like a local place. We've come to like a bakery. It looks really good and quite exciting. Lots of good things on the wall. Very local. Everyone's very helpful. Yeah. So, have a look here. It's similar to what we had in Jeddah. This is Puri for 100. We've ordered that and we've also ordered string hoppers. But there's so many other things as well. I've never seen Gossai before. I think there might be Gossai. Ah, um, sorry, can, can you please tell us what are these sauces? This soya. 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 Soya? 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. And... Dal. 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 Yes. Coconut. 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 Yeah. Curry? Curry. Yeah. And this one? Dal. Dal. Oh, dal as well. Yeah. Dal. And these ones here, this is so lovely. We've got more things. This <laughs> is... Only in Chile. So onion, onion, onion sambal, onion chili, and coconut chili. chili. Coconut chili. Coconut chili. Spicy. Oh, how wonderful! Yeah. Oh, they okay. said so the onion <laughs> spicy. So be careful of that. So we've got a few things on our plates, and like we've got absolutely no idea of how to eat them. We've got here a, a puri, and I've got our string hoppers. So what do we, we do? Put this on here, and then like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's a good idea. <laughs> well done, Lee. Because normally we'd look at what other people are eating, but the people decide it's all finished. It's quite liquidy, isn't it? So you put it yeah, onto the... Yeah, maybe onto the hoppers. Yeah. Onto the hoppers. <laughs> Remember, like always with your right hand, never your left. Dal on the side. Or the dal on here. You're probably thinking, what on earth are these Westerners doing? <laughs> I'm just going to... Try a bit. Like this, I think. Delicious. <laughs> so Mandy's plate looks way better than mine. She's got it very well organized with the dal here, so it's nice and substantial. Yeah, so I'm gonna try them now. Get them up here so you can see what I'm eating. This is, how on earth do you do these with your fingers? Oh my word, this is gonna be so messy. So there's actually chickpeas. How is it? Oh my word. Good. Ah. Oh, there's more. Thank you. This is potato Ooh. with the other For the puri. Puri. Yeah. Okay, thank you. We've got something else. Potato. Wonderful. So this one here, this second dal is delicious with the pumpkin. This is the spicy one. Uh, to be perfectly honest, the first two were slightly spicy, so I don't know what spicy is going to be like. <laughs> yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> uh, and this one here is the coconut one. And this is nice and light. Now I do get some of the sambal on the side, the onion one, just to taste it. Tasty chili and the coconut one. I think it's just as spicy. Actually, I think the coconut one might be spicier, but this is just so tasty. And yeah. Great perfect. introduction to Sri Lanka. Still a bit peckish, so we've ordered an egg roti as well. So how are you going, Lee, with your first really good. breakfast I'm in Sri Lanka? Really good. I'm getting into the um, <laughs> way of eating. Like it's going to take me a long time to master it, but it's great. It's all about getting your fingers dirty. Excellent. The food's really delicious. My mouth's really on fire. Yeah. I'm so really enjoying it. Wonderful. And you want to just try this egg roti? It seems quite. Oh my word! It's quite warm. 
I don't know, do I eat this with curry or? I think you dip it in the curry. Dip it in a little bit. Very hot, just style. Lovely. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> Brilliant. That was a veritable feast and in total it was 750 rupees, which is two US dollars fifty. Breakfast in our hotel was two thousand for two of us, so really good value coming to these places. Brilliant. It's so cool. And look at the nice people, thank the you. Delicious things. Thank you. <laughs> I just asked the driver, it's 170 rupees from here to Colombo, which is quite reasonable. He's just made a discovery. I love coming to new countries and finding new things. This is a wood apple. I've never seen one of these before. No. Look at that. Here's a picture of it inside. <laughs> wow. At least we now know when we go to a market what they are. And we will try one at some stage. Watch to see. And the different soaps, you've got cinnamon there and lemongrass. We've gone for one of these. 170 and the sandalwood as well for 175. So the reason we come to Ngombo for our very first night is because we're arriving late at night at Colombo Airport and the airport is very far north of Colombo, about 30 kilometers. It costs about 5,000 rupees to go to Colombo in a taxi and there are public buses but you have to walk a kilometer to get the public bus and they weren't going to be running at the time of night we arrived. So we decided to come to Ngombo instead. Good idea, Mandy? Yeah, very good idea, I think. Yeah. Ngombo is a lovely beach resort. It's, I think, 10 kilometers from the airport. Yeah, so we got a tuk-tuk from the airport to here for only 642 rupees, which is like two dollars. We gave the guy a thousand because he was really nice yeah. and he waited outside the airport for us. They yeah. don't come inside the airport, so if you get one of those through one of the pick-me apps, you go outside the airport and they'll pick you up. Yes, and yeah, you, I think you waited for us for about 20 minutes to actually find him, so yeah. yeah. And now to get from Ngombo to Colombo, there are plenty of buses and trains going regularly into Colombo, so we're going to go down to the railway station now and get a train to Colombo. Now, the other main reason we decided to spend the very first night in Ngombo was the price of accommodation. It's so much cheaper than Colombo. We paid $7.49 for a room last night with an ensuite. Yeah, really cool. um, we found that on booking.com, quite easy to look on booking.com for Nagombo, go to the cheapest rooms and you'll see we chose one here at the Chelly Guest House, which is really quite nice, yeah. comfortable, just right for us, and it's only about a 15 minute walk from the railway station, so we can go easily into Colombo today. Yes, because um, in comparison, our accommodation in Colombo is going to be, I think it's $18 a night, so yeah. it's a lot more. So this way we've saved quite a bit with our cheap tuk-tuk through the Pick Me app, and then the cheap um, accommodation, Shelley yes. Homestay, and through cheap transport to get to Colombo <laughs> yeah. today rather than paying for the expensive taxi and a night last night which we wouldn't have really done much with because yeah. we arrived so late. We just had a fantastic time in the supermarket. One thing we love doing when we get to a new country is to go to the supermarket and check out all these amazing new products you've never seen before. We were traveling carry-on, so we didn't have all of our toiletries with us. We needed those, so we did a bit of shopping. And we've got these products from Sri Lanka that we would never have seen anywhere else. This is uh, clove oil toothpaste. That's gonna be very interesting to try. We've got some lemongrass soap. That was on special for 170 and some sandalwood soap sandalwood it just oh wow it smells like you're in the east and all of those three products came to just under 600 rupees i think less than two dollars and we're all set ready for sri lanka and we'll smell nice <laughs> Uh, when is the next train to come on board? Can we have two uh, turn Well, that was a massive rush. The train came and everybody charged in. So we joined the crowd and we've got on and we've got a seat, which is brilliant. It's 100 each per third class, which is about 33 cents for a 49 kilometer journey that might take about two hours. But the main thing is we've got a seat. Sit back, relax and enjoy it. How did things today? She's very lucky. The crowds have dissipated now, but yeah. I don't think she's hurt. I'm really just really shook up. 
So I was just talking to Samira here and he's just informing me that every day at least one person gets trapped like on the train like that. Yeah, all over the Sri Lanka but uh, not uh, not so dangerous case. Sometimes it might happen uh, when there is overcrowd. Yes. Yeah. So especially yeah, when it's busy, as you said, yeah, sure. be so careful. Yeah, especially don't uh, stay at the foot board while it's traveling very fast. Fantastic, we've just met some amazing people. Fantastic, we're learning all about Yellow National Park right here. Some great videos. <laughs> that was an amazing train journey, we really enjoyed it. Not without its fraught moments because of this. So you have to be really careful getting on and off the trains here. We witnessed uh, quite a scary moment there where somebody held down in between. Thankfully they didn't get injured. But yeah, here we are. Colombo Fort. Fantastic. Let's go and see the big city. So this is a third class compartment and it was really comfortable actually. I have had to video on the train where there's so many people, so it's great to like nick in when everyone's gone and check it out. So lovely. This is what the train looks like. Turns out it was third class only, no second class seats. So we've just arrived at our destination. We're here at Colombo Fort. Now we've got to find out where our hotel is. So Lee is checking. Maps.me, this is the app we use to get around and it's telling us that we have got a 10 minute walk, about 780 meters, not far away, right into the heart of the Fort District. Best place to be in Colombo. So there's the exit only. Notice you've got to actually keep your ticket to go out. Some lovely old photos. This is brilliant. Some of these old colonial places. You've got the pictures up here of the elephants in 1885. Wow. You know, rickshaws in 1929. The wooden frame is probably that old. <laughs> brilliant. So, so cool. From the peace and quiet of Ngombo, here we are in the capital city of Sri Lanka. We're in Colombo. You get a lot of people stopping you when you're walking, asking if you want things, but nope. We're walking to our guest house. We wanted to stay in the heart of Colombo so we can see this place and do it justice in two days. So we've chose to stay in the fort area and here is where we're staying, the city rest fort accommodation. It's 19 US dollars a night for a room, which for us is a fair bit for Sri Lanka, but we think it's worth it so we can Right, be in the heart of things here in Colombo. This was one of the cheapest we found near the centre of Colombo. We've just checked in, we're a little bit early, but we're allowed to go up to our room. Normally check-in time's two o'clock, but it's 12 o'clock now. Hello. 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 We've heard that breakfast is between eight and 10. We're really looking forward to it. Western style breakfast, it'll be a bit of a change. On the Wi-Fi, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Your name is? Little Shin, right? Yep. Too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to make it Lou, if it's okay. Yeah, Lou. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Perfect. And we've just had a nice welcome drink and given to us by Patrick. Thank you so much. So a quick room tour. Now these rooms, we knew they didn't have windows. Yeah, so it feels a little bit like you're in a prison cell. There's no windows. It's quite dark and dingy, but it serves our purposes. We've got two reasonable sized beds here. Yeah. We've got air con, which is very nice. We've got a television. Wow, Which we brilliant. Might watch. <laughs> and then coming through, there's a bit of storage space there. And then, Mandy, the bathroom. The bathroom's wonderful. I mean, look at that. It's so clean and lovely and big. Absolutely brilliant. 
Um, and the great thing about this is we've got breakfast included, so we're gonna have breakfast in the morning before we <laughs> hit Colombo. I'm super happy because it's actually got an international plug socket, unlike the normal Sri Lankan ones, which means that I can plug my power board in and we can get things charged. Well, I think we're pretty well set up now. Yeah, we've brought a SIM card, we've got money out of the ATM, accommodation and transport and yep. delicious food. And we're all set up here, so we'll sign off from this video now and keep watching because in the next one, we're going to show you all around Colombo. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.